Welcome to this brief tutorial on the basic aspects of navigating Canvas. This is intended as a general guideline only, and your professor may choose to use more Canvas tools or fewer Canvas tools than what will be discussed in this tutorial. To access your specific course, navigate to the top of the Canvas toolbar. Go to Courses and scroll to your specific course, clicking on that link. This will take you to the course's home page. Home pages will look different depending on the individual design choices of your instructor. Here we have an indication that this is the home page with this little home page icon, and the professor has chosen to list his name and the semester for the course. This professor has also chosen to provide access to the most recent announcement available in the course. And by clicking on that link, the student can then see the most recent announcement content. However, not all instructors will do this. Some instructors will decide just to use a recent activity page that will indicate uh, new postings to discussion boards, new announcements, in a sort of list on the side of the home page. Again, the home page will look different depending on the design choices of your instructor. The syllabus for the course can generally be accessed in two different places. The syllabus can be accessed by using the syllabus tool if your instructor has made that tool available to you. By clicking on that tool, you are able to see two different aspects of the course syllabus page. On the top of the page, notice that we have a link provided to the particular syllabus for this course. By clicking on that link, the student would then be taken to either a PDF format or a Microsoft Word format of the course syllabus. There's also a preview option, and you can view the document in a new window. Not all professors decide to post the syllabus for the course in this section, so don't always rely on it being here. What you'll see at the bottom of the page is the course schedule. The course schedule tells you the due date of assignments, the day of the week that the assignment is due. It will provide a link to that particular assessment, and it will tell you the time of day that the assignment is due. Generally, this information is generated on this syllabus page by the due dates posted within the assignments themselves and any dates of events that are posted to the calendar. Your professor may or may not put items on the calendar if your professor decides to do so. By clicking on calendar at the top of the page, you will see things like assignment due dates, quiz due dates, events such as chat sessions with your professor, and maybe even office hours with your professor listed on a calendar. Generally, the information posted on the calendar and the information in the schedule on the syllabus page is in sync. However, every once in a while there are discrepancies just because of glitches in the Canvas system. If this occurs, be sure to send your instructor a message to inquire about the correct due date and time of an assignment or an event. The most important page on Canvas is the Modules page, which you can access by clicking on Modules on the left Canvas toolbar. When you click on that page, you'll be taken to the Modules page, which includes all the assignments for the class, links to quizzes, and practice quizzes, and important content such as lectures. The course modules page is basically the equivalent of what would be happening inside the classroom in terms of the professor delivering information to you. When you get to the modules page, you might notice that some portions of the page are grayed out. You're not able to click on those links. There might be a couple different reasons for that. This particular professor chose 
to require students to submit this first self-assessment quiz before any other content can be accessed in the course. Why is that? Just as if you were in a normal classroom, the professor would be delivering information to you in a particular order. Sometimes professors need that same thing to happen in an online format. We don't want students jumping ahead of themselves because sometimes students are not prepared to access certain content until they've mastered previous content in the course. So by forcing you to move through the modules sequentially, we are actually allowing you to experience content in the order in which it's best experienced. Once I submit this assignment, the next content module should become available to me. Sometimes entire modules are locked. When that happens, you'll see a little lock icon next to the title of the module. An instructor may choose to lock a module for two reasons. First, sometimes the professor wants you to finish the previous module before you can access the next module. Again, that is so that you do not jump ahead of yourself and try to complete assignments that you're not prepared to complete. In other instances, the professor has decided to lock a module until a given date and time. In this case, the professor has decided to lock the module until August 30th at 8 a.m., at which time this module will unlock and become available to students. Again, the course modules page is the most important page in terms of accessing all the necessary information in the course. Frequently, the syllabus for the course appears in the course modules page as well. The next tool is the announcements tool. When you click on announcements, you'll be able to see any important announcements that the professor is providing to the students. And you can click on an announcement, and then the information contained in that announcement will appear to you. Sometimes an announcement icon will appear if you've not yet checked an announcement, and it is always your responsibility as the student to make sure you have checked announcements in a timely manner. You might wonder exactly when an instructor has graded your assignment. That can be easily determined by using the Grades tool in Canvas. Notice on this particular example, there's a little blue circle with the number one inside. This is indicating to me that I have one assignment that has been graded that I have not yet looked at. So when I click on the Grades Tool button, it will take me to the Grades page, where I will see a list of various assignments that have been graded, and the assignment that I have not yet checked grade for has a little blue circle next to it. I can see when that assignment was due, the score that I received, and in this case, the instructor has provided me with feedback in the form of a comment. When I click on that, the comment from the instructor appears underneath the assignment. Now that I've looked at my score for this assignment, Canvas knows that I no longer need to be concerned about not keeping up to date with feedback from the instructor. Notice that the little indicator of a grade has disappeared. This is great. What that means for you as a student is that you never need to ask the instructor whether an assignment has been graded. You know an assignment has been newly graded when you get an icon indicating that you have to check your score and you can always go to the grade page to find out what you got on past assignments. The next button is the Discussions button. Discussions are extremely important, particularly in online classes. It is through discussions and group assignments that the professor can foster a learning community, just as though you were sitting in a classroom. 
On the discussion, Discussions page, you will see three different sections. At the bottom, you'll see Close for Comments. That means you are no longer able to participate in this discussion by posting comments. Generally, that discussion is past date, or it's no longer relevant to the content currently being discussed in the class, or it's already been graded. The middle section is the general discussion section. In this section, you will have discussion boards that are currently open, as well as discussion boards that have not yet been made available. For discussions that your instructor really finds important in the here and now, you should go to Pinned Discussions at the top of the discussion page. Here, your professor will post the discussion that you should be working on currently in the class. You can simply click on the discussion and it will take you to your particular discussion board. The next two tools I will show you may or may not be used by your professor. The assignments tool is sometimes used for, by professors and sometimes not. If it is used, you can click on it and you'll see a list of assignments both overdue and then past assignments. When you click on an assignment, it can take you to the area that describes the due date of the assignment, the point value of the assignment, and the format in which your professor wants you to submit the assignment. Underneath is a description of the assignment and any specific instructions for that assignment. When you are ready to submit your assignment, go to Submit Assignment on the right hand side of the page. When you click on that, you'll be taken to the space in which you're able to submit your assignment. Since the professor for this assignment wanted everything submitted in a text entry box, I am able to cut and paste my text from my word processing document, put it into this box, and then use the various tools to format my assignment. I can make comments, and if made available to me, I can do file uploads and uploads to URLs. Then when I'm ready to turn in my assignment, I will click on Submit Assignment, and this, my, the assignment will be submitted to my instructor. I'm going to navigate away from this page. Notice I get a little warning message saying, uh, hey, you're about to leave this page. You didn't enter anything. You know, This is to let you know that you may have accidentally forgotten to submit your assignment. Your instructor may not use the assignments page. Does that mean you don't have assignments for the course? No. Assignments sometimes are only available through the modules page. Why is that? In certain cases, the instructor wants to make sure that you look at the content of modules before you submit an assignment. You can still submit assignments the same way. You would click on the assignment, see the instructions, and then hit Submit Assignment after you've pasted your assignment or done your file uploads. The other button that may or may not be available to you is the People Tool button. If your instructor decides to make this available to you, when you click on it, you will get a list of not only the people in the course, but also your professor for the course. Again, some instructors may not make this available to you. Why? They might try to protect the privacy of the other students in the course. Thanks for listening to this tutorial on how to use the basic common aspects of Canvas, and I wish you great success in your classes this semester.